Running Man is my life. Dax, Jisuk Jin. 안녕 여러분, 제 이름은 Jinin이에요. My name is Jinin and I'm one of the key influencers for 2023. Welcome to Jinja Nuna. This is my channel as my first video and it's one of the missions for key influencers this year. I wanted to share how my love for Korea all started. Unlike other people who started liking Korea because of K-dramas or K-pop, my gateway to Korea was actually Running Man. My sister, Katrina, it's K-Style. Follow her, subscribe. She was watching Running Man episodes in our living room. It's close to a decade ago because I think it was 2015 or 2016. So that was when um, she started watching it and then we started watching it as well. Um, us siblings speaking of fans and I can still remember my very first episode. That was the episode where um, To Anyone was a guest and then there were other idols I think and then they were playing in a muddy location and then Jaysok was the MC wearing a shiny pink and green outfit. But anyway, that was the first um, episode I watched and from then on I really got hooked because it was so fun to watch and it's not just funny, it's not just entertaining there are so many things you can learn from it as well. Especially during the early days of Running Man, they featured a lot of rich culture and history lessons, and I learned so much about Korea that way. So, for instance, that was when I learned that King Sejong invented Hangul and how he did it because he wanted these people who couldn't learn Chinese to have their own language, and that was so moving for me. And that was um, one of the reasons why I love the language as well, and I'm learning it this year. Um, aside from that, they went to a lot of great locations, and it was really enticing to visit those locations. So they featured like picturesque spots in Gangwon or in other provinces in Korea, and it really made me want to go there. And of course, they featured a lot of spots in Seoul too, a lot of touristy spots, but um, a lot of city attractions where you can um, learn about Korea and immerse in their culture. For example, they had this really, one of my favorite episodes was held in the Seoul Metropolitan Library. Um, that was like their time travel episode and that was so exciting and I loved um, seeing that their library was so big and so impressive. When I went to Korea in 2016, that was one of the places I went to first. And I really had fun exploring the place. So like I said, Running Man is my life. And I could really tell you that because from my love from Running Man, I started writing about Korean culture and I learned more about Korean culture as well. I started um, writing articles for Cosmo, mainly for Korean beauty at first and then Korean entertainment. And until now, um, I have some freelance gigs um, writing Korean content. And of course, aside from the great career advantages, it helps me the bill. So I told you, Running Man is my life. And I will never stop thinking that. If you're still doubting by now, um, if I'm a real fan, then I just wanted to flex some of my merch. So first, this one is a Halyang shirt. Um, in one of our trips to Korea, we went to the Halyang store and we didn't know that it was actually just online. Um, so we went to the store, to the store location stated on the website. And then we found out that they weren't actually selling anything there, but the people there were very nice. Gary wasn't there, unfortunately. but. Um, the people who were there um, were very nice and they sold us um, a t-shirt and this cap, this Halyang cap. And they gave us this shirt and another one similar to this as a freebie. And in um, one guesting of Gary and one show, he showed that he had a lot of these. I can't remember which show is that anymore. But anyway, um, he had a lot of shirts like that. I was so killing because I, I saw um, my merch. Um, aside from that, I've been attending a lot of like Running Man fan gatherings. Shout out to Running Man Philippines. They're like the best fan group ever. So I, I was able to collect like a few t-shirts. Like, um, for the first two years of attending the gathering, I attended were online because of COVID and I kept um, 
being assigned to the so Team Sokjin. Team Sokjin. So, honey, it's my life. You know? <laughs> and yeah, I really made good friends there. Mostly younger um, fans who are now really uh, my friends and who I treasure. And then the latest gathering of Turning Man, um, it was finally um, face to face and we had this cute t-shirt and I wrote in my husband as well there and I showed some clips. The best thing about that one, aside, um, there's so many great things about that gathering. The games we actually experienced, um, like um, Tug, Tug of War as teams and then we had some missions there as well and then we had some merch like this. This epic game um, uniform that the Running Man members wear um, whenever they play team games. And then we also had a Running Man mission bag. This is actually my husband's mission bag already. Um, mine is somewhere there. I just can't remember. Anyway. And um, when Running Man announced the concert um, in 2020 or 2019 and then the concert was in 2020, I bought VIP tickets right away. Um, I even had this hat customized. Huh? And I was really like super excited to go. It was even like before Jisukjin's, like a day before Jisukjin's birthday. So we were really excited. But then COVID happened and I needed the money and then I had to refund it. But... Well, I, I just couldn't let it pass. So um, this year, early this year, I, I still bought a ticket again and still VIP standing and had the best time of my life. I'm telling you, like I lost my voice. I cried a lot. And it was just so overwhelming to finally see the guys. So I'm really, really happy for that experience. So actually, those are just some of the things I wanted to talk about really. And that was just actually my intro for my concept this year. So for K-Influencer, um, we will have some missions every month. And I said, hmm, Running Man missions. Why not make it my thing to make Running Man missions every month? So for this month, the mission is to introduce my channel um, in relation to Korean culture. And that's what I did just now. So mission success. So watch out for my videos in the coming months and I hope you um, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in the content and if not, at least check out Running Man because it's really a great show. You'll learn a lot. You'll meet new celebrities. You'll see your favorite celebrities featured in games and you'll learn more about Korean culture and you'll appreciate more about the wonderful land of the morning calm. So enjoy! Annyeong, everyone!